Oh, it's famous. So tell me about your time as a county park. I went up in the second week, beginning of the second week, to find out what was going on up there, and I slept out with the protesters, I watched their political assemblies, and decided to come back downtown, get my permission from my boss to go up for a week, and then I spent a few straight sleeping up there. And what was that? That was the third week of Chicago. When's the last time you were up there? Oh, about a week and a half ago. Okay. How would you describe the atmosphere for most of the time? Uh, I had found a, a slight change in the people that were there. That uh, there was a certain point that the comer, uh, the latecomers, were taking over the, uh, you know, hand handling, and, you know, making it bad for the general political statements that were trying to be more clarified. What, what what were some of the things you were seeing? Well, just that you know, people who are homeless and have nothing are attracted to a place where they can sleep and eat and get free clothing. Um, I don't blame them for that. The society needs to do more to address the issue of the housing and homeless especially more better. Yeah, um, Mayor Bloomberg said that, um, you know, this, and I guess the owners of the park too said that these were getting out of hand, that there's a fire risk, a safety risk, um, and that's what we're getting assaulted. Um, does that sound right to you? Um, your experience there. I think any time you have a large gathering of people, whether it's political or not, you are going to have certain anti-social activity. I think the concentration of people uh, living on the streets who have been released from mental institutions has contributed to some of the problems there. I don't see it on the part of the organizer that they did the best they could to try to control things as we have done here. We try to stay awake all night and we watch the camp and we're on constant work. So now that the court has said that people can't camp out there, what does that do for the movement as a whole? I think it challenges the movement to find their next step. The uh, location of the encampment in New York could be changed, for instance. Pumpkin Square Park in the 1980s and 90s housed a occupation of homeless people for three years until the city was finally able to amass the enough riot cops to kick them out. So, no, I think it's going to challenge to find its direction. I think that a certain ambiguity about the issues and the causes uh, will now be crystallized into a soul searching of how to proceed from here, especially next spring when Occupy Central Park is going to be on the agenda. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. He was also <coughs> a